Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am going to make a floral type of soap using this awesome fragrance from Nurture Soap called Twisted Violet. Uh, and it says it doesn't cause acceleration and it discolors to light tan. So um, with that being said, for my colorants, I'm going to be using for my uh, wild uh, violet look, I have this Plum Dusk Mica from Brambleberry, and it's very dark. It's almost like a, a grayish purple hue. So I'll just use a little bit of that, and then I'm also going to use this Hollywood pink. Wow, that's a pink color, but just a little. Um, I just thought together they would make a really pretty uh, swirl, and I'll use a little titanium dioxide in the um, non mica part. Uh, I'll be using aloe vera juice for my liquid portion, and if everything's behaving, I'd like to pipe some flowers on top since violet, you know, it's a flower, and uh, so we're just gonna make this kind of a twisted violet sort of a look, and uh, this smells fabulous. I'm not always a floral kind of gal, but um, this is a good scent. I like it, so let's see if it behaves in soap. I'm gonna gather everything together, get my hair pulled back, and uh, we'll make some twisted violet soap. And if you enjoy watching my videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe and the bell for notifications. And I'm on Facebook and Instagram too. All right, so I'm ready to roll forward here. And what I've got going on in here are my liquid oils and my hard oils and butters are all melted, cooled. And to this, I've added my organic colloidal oats, kale and clay, and the fragrance. That's what's going on in this bucket. And then over here, I've decided to do something a little different today. So this is my aloe vera and lye solution uh, with Tussa Silk Fibers. And instead of sodium lactate, what I've added in here was um, table salt <laughs> uh, and sugar to, uh, to uh, try to harden the bar up instead of sodium lactate. I'm gonna try it and see how it works out. The sugar is supposed to be for adding to bubbles and the salt is supposed to add to hardness of the bar for unmolding. I've never done this before. You're coming along with me. I looked up the recommended um, doses and uh, for the salt, it said uh, anywhere from a half to a teaspoon per pound of oil. So I did a teaspoon per pound in here and for the sugar, I did a half a teaspoon per pound of powdered sugar and it all melted in here really nice to my aloe lye solution when it was hot. And uh, so that's what we've got going on in there. Let's, <laughs> I'm anxious to give this a whirl and see how it goes. Really hoping everything goes well and doesn't go wonky on us. But um, that's what's going on today. So I'm gonna hand stir this to emulsion and then we will split off for our colors. I do have my piping bags ready to go. If everything's behaving, I'd like to pipe down some twisted violet flowers on top. Of course, I don't know how to do a flower. I'm not very good at soap piping. I've seen, oh my goodness, there's some soapers. They are artists. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. Ophelia Soapery, she, her piped flowers are amazing. So I am pretty basic with my piping. It still looks pretty though, I think. <laughs> so. Everything seems to be hanging out here. Now apparently, and it does seem to be, so this fragrance will discolor to a tan, but they also said the addition of sugar, um, it can get a little caramel color to it, and it does look a little caramely here, which is fine, it's not a bad color. And I don't know if it would saponify out like that. We shall see, you're coming along with me. This is my first time doing that. So let me get my buckets over here for colors. Got my beautiful Hollywood pink and my plum dusk. So let's pour off here. There we go. And then in my big bucket, I am going to add some, so, um, sorry, not sodium lactate, some titanium dioxide in here to keep this nice and bright. So I have, this is a water-soluble TD dispersed in water. Um, and you really do want to disperse it and not put the powder in because it will chunk and leave flecks. Sometimes even when I mix it really well, I'll get little dots of TD. It just, it's a tough one to blend. So just be mindful of that. All right, so here is my plum dusk. I'm gonna go ahead and do the little container, I think. Oh golly, this is a tough one. 
I'm going to do the big container. That's what I'm going to do. All right. And we will do the Hollywood pink in the little container. Because that is, that is a wild color. I'm excited to see what that comes out like. All right, let me pull this out and we'll just give a quick stick blend here. And we will go lightest to darkest. All right, well, I'm back the next day with my twisted violet here, and it definitely um, firmed up pretty fast, but I was able to get my hanger through, get a swirl, and get the piping on top. Um, but I had to start moving. It, it, was, it thickened up fast, so I don't know if that was all from the um, sugar and the salt additive as opposed to the uh, sodium lactate, but it's very firm today. The next day, this is a nice hard bar. So um, it's cutting really smoothly. It's pretty. 
So I kind of like it. I, I'm definitely going to try this again and um, see if, uh, if I think it's the salt and sugar that caused that to move fast on me. I was soaping it cool temperatures around 80 degrees so but I'm happy it's a nice firm bar of soap today so there we go twisted violet